Okay. Usually I do not like make tutorials at almost 10 at night, but this is a very special exception. I've discovered how to edit the hard-coded overworld paths. Now, as an example, let's first off just take the path between Donut Plains 1 and Donut Plains 2. Now, if you look at it, it'll say DB09, which is the level number of Donut Plains 2. Now, you'll want to have your 16 by 16 tile selector open, and preferably a hex editor, but I chose all.log because of its convenience. Now, This, um, is the overworld tile to use. Now look, and you'll see that it says 10. This corresponds to a path downwards. Um, it do has a 10 again, then it has 1E, then 19, then 18, then 16, then 66. Now, as I just displayed, the numbers listed here, those um, are the path tiles it uses as Mario travels over the path from Donut Plains 2. And as long as you keep the path six bytes long, you can change it for yourself. Note, the six bytes includes the level destination. Um, what else do we have? Now, this is the direction Mario is facing when he walks over said paths. Two is down, six is right. 4 is left, and 0 is up. Now as for this, as for these numbers, I have no idea what they mean. Um, all I know is I'm, I think that it has something to do with, um, which bite to start a new hard-coded path on. I just keep in mind that this is a guess. It could be wrong, but that's what I think. And lastly, these are the level numbers on which to activate the hard-coded paths. Note that the level number of FF means that it's specific on your overworld location. Know that. Um, you won't be able to see me, and unfortunately, this recording is taking up massive space. Let's see. I don't really think I have much else to say about hard-coded paths, but just remember... The level tile itself counts towards whether counts towards um, the hard coded path. That's really all I have to say. And goodbye.